Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia. In this presentation, I want to highlight five ArcVis workflows that might help improve the way you work. Our mission at Sinai is to help you become a more efficient artist, allowing you more time to focus on the fun, creative stuff. So let's begin by looking at the first scenario. 1. Working with BIM models. If any of the following apply to you, our Ignite plugins will likely improve your current way of working. Do the BIM files you receive include layers, or is everything imported on the default layer? Are the BIM files optimized, or have they simply been exported with everything included? How long does it take you to prepare a model? Do you budget for BIM prep time? And if requested by your client, can you afford to re-import and reproduce the prep work, keeping it within budget? If you're familiar with any of these, we can help. Let's take a look at some tools. Inspect and tidy up your scene. First, run Forensic and remove imported problematic items, such as empty modifiers, note tracks, and motion clips. You can also relink missing textures if you use the Ignite version of Forensic. Layer by Materials. You may want to create layers by materials using Ignite Springboard. Select Similar and Instance. Select Similar and with one click create instances. It's wise to reset objects first. Select similar objects and make proxies. Another option may be to select similar and create render-specific proxies. You can convert proxies back to Edit Mesh for editing and then resave them as proxies again. Attach and weld objects. We also recommend using Sculpt to attach your model geometry which makes the scene perform better. If you wish to split the model, use the Explode tools. 2. Working with imported CAD drawings. Do any of you still get sent annoying CAD drawings from clients? Sinai has a load of tools to optimize these, but I'll just cover a few. Delete CAD blocks and overlapping splines. After running Forensic, you'll want to tidy up the drawings. Open Scribe and first delete the CAD blocks. Next up, use the Delete Overlapping tool to remove all problematic overlapping splines. Flatten splines. Next, if the CAD is poorly drawn, you may want to flatten the splines. Use Scribe to reset all the splines Z-axis to zero, so they all are on the same level. Optimize splines. If you find excessive knots to spline curves, try optimizing them with live viewport feedback. Create closed splines. It's possible the imported CAD splines are messy. Our Scribe plugin will trace them and create new closed splines for you. In this example, we'll create some crude shapes, run make spline plots and extrude them. Conform splines. You can also plant them on any surface without selecting the underlying geometry.
3. Scene Optimization Replacing CAD with 3D objects Here's a fast way to swap out CAD symbols for 3D geometry. In this example, we've imported a landscape drawing and use Ignite to replace the drawn trees with 3D. We then use Jumble to add random transforms. Add a little randomness to your scenes. As mentioned, Jumble is designed to select objects by volume, as well as random transformations, such as these dancing cars. Let there be HDR light. If you work with HDRI lighting, Illumi is a fast way to automatically set up and look dev different scene scenarios. You first set up your libraries and let Illumi create the thumbnails. If you wish, add the relevant metadata. Then, load in the image files and Illumi will automatically create the lighting rig. You can then click on each image to change the lighting. temporarily straighten selected objects. Another useful tool is the straighten feature in Ignite Springboard. It rotates to align with the world coordinates and when you're finished, it sets them back to their original rotation. Relink, repath and archive with Unite. As mentioned before, you use Unite for file relinking repathing linked files and scene archiving. This is a sneak peek of the updated UI, completely rewritten using Qt coding. We are doing this for all our plugins, which is a big job, but will future-proof them for 4K monitors, better performance, and the potential to expand into other software. In this example, the scene was missing all its textures and proxies. We selected the correct root folder and Unite searches all the subfolders and finds and relinks the files. We then repath them to another folder in a few clicks. Four, Sinai Creation Tools. You might not be aware that we also develop object plugins located in the Create side menu. We are aware you'll likely draw immediate comparisons to other popular plugins and Mac scripts. We're all right with that. The difference is that these are bundled into the All Access collection at a very low cost, they're simple to use, and are there if you need them. First up is Cyclone, our parametric design tool. In this sample, we've created a street scene using four cyclone setups. You create these by first selecting a spline and then arraying objects and sweeping shapes along it. Perfect for simple handrails and fences. You can download presets from the website to get started. Next is Disperse. This is a 3D paint and erase tool perfect for close-up scenes such as this garden. It also includes a replace function, so you can replace any scene object with selected objects. Scatter. You may like to know Scatter is a free plugin. It works by distributing objects across a surface. You can define display percentages and transform. Plus, it includes color variation painting and erase tools, and lots more. And finally, Proxy. It was designed to add scene and object security, so artists can lock down geometry with password protection. Perfect if you need to send your IP to a client or potential competitor. It is a universal proxy format which means if you switch from one renderer to another, you won't need to convert the proxy. Five, sign NIMAX scripts. Download Max scripts. Starting in spring 2022, 
we are now offering additional resources, including Max Scripts. These are based on customer requests and pre-plugin integration. Add scripts to your toolbar and create hotkeys. Depending on what account you have with us, you can download the scripts from the website. We recommend adding these to the toolbar and creating hotkeys for fast use. These are a few of the ones presently available. Batch Max Script. Batch allows you to add headless Max scripts to multi-process selected scenes or whole folders. It's designed to work autonomously, meaning you can batch process all your scenes with no input. We sped up this example, but to process three scenes with two Max scripts, scene cleaner and attach by material, it took four and a half minutes to complete. Switch cameras. The camera scripts allow you to cycle through all your scene cameras, running forward or in reverse. Camera properties. You can also save your favorite camera configurations and load them from directly from the folder. Discover more. If you wish to learn more, check out the Max Script pages in the help docs. You'll find videos on how to download and install, as well as batch scripting samples to assist you in creating your own Max Scripts. That's all for now. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks everyone for watching, and be sure to check out more Sinai content on our YouTube channel. The 60-second samplers are a great way to get an overview of many of the features of our plugins. I'll see you soon. Bye.